When working with SPVR, you always have several types of files that pertain to one particular job. Uh, for instance, what I mean is we have to have, well, you used to have to have a black TIFF and a white TIFF. Then you would probably have your original file, your Photoshop layered file. Then once you created your black and white TIFF and made your separations and saved your file, then you would have the ViewWrite EPS, the separation file. Then you would take that separation file into the uh, illustration program of your choice. Here would be freehand, it could be Corel or Illustrator, and you'd place your file in there to print out your separations. You can do it this way, having the black and the white TIFF, or the new way with version 2 allows you to have the Photoshop file as a layered file. As long as it's a TIFF, you can just turn on or off the eyeballs, and whatever it sees, it'll separate. Um, it's one way to have, you know, basically two less files per folder. Um, so it's a personal preference just be sure that, uh, to stay aware of that and what I would try to do is get into the habit of saving these things consistently that way you can come back six months from now once you make it a habit of saving these files named this way and train anyone in your staff to do the exactly the same thing then anytime someone's out for vacation or quits or whatever it might be someone else can still go right back in find all the necessary files and know exactly what they are the worst case the worst thing in the world and I see it all the time is a uh, there would be a New Orleans window uh, dash final and then it would be a final one a final two final three with all the client revisions that's ridiculous that stuff gets way out of hand and sure enough someone's gonna print the wrong um, the wrong image so pay particular attention to the way you name your files and um, pick which one is best for you